Hello everybody, this is Saucy. These are my tablets. We're gonna fix up the Nexus 7 right here. 2012, first gen. This is a Kindle Fire HDX. This is the Lenovo tablet, um, ThinkPad tablet I should say, the first gen. This thing sucks, it's super slow. It's very slow. And I'm not used to the buttons on this, but the thing about it is that the apps are weird. YouTube kind of sucks. The sound is good. But I this is my first tablet and I liked it a lot. These are both 7 inches. This one's a 16 by 9. No, wait, no. 16 by 9. This one is 16 by 10. There's a slight difference. This is a uh, 16 by 9, but it's huge. 10 inches, way big. Let's get to cracking. What happened on this thing is that the motherboard fried. I um I guess I must have done a uh, I must have done it. I had a custom motherboard or a custom um Android on there, and I don't know. I let the battery die one time before I did that, and then kind of just. I did it like two or three times and never really recovered from that. So I really don't know what the problem was, but I got a new motherboard, or I should say a used motherboard, for like 15 bucks. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Um, I forget, the best part to open this thing up is... I don't suggest using a razor blade, but sometimes you just have to use it. Here you go. Here's the motherboard for it. Let's see if it fits. It looks like it would. Hopefully it's just a motherboard issue, not a power issue. Pull that little guy out. Let's pull the battery out. I think I I did charge one of these quite a bit. And I believe I've blown the battery on it. Well I guess I don't really need to take it out. So we got some precise screws here. Pull that little guy out, probably for speakers. Screwdriver is magnetic, that's always good. Warranty void, great. Same size screws, that's always good. This one's a little bit different in color, and it is a little bit smaller. All this tape is hiding stuff. Let's see, oh yeah, there's a little connector right there. Screw right there. Pull this out. Take care of that little guy out. The price of these as of what day is it? <laughs> uh, May 2nd, 2014. They are steadily at 100 bucks. You can find a lot for 100 still. They kind of kept their value. Um, some are a little bit cheaper than that. You could get. You could probably. You might be able to get some for like maybe like 50 bucks, 70 bucks. Um, this is a great tablet. I think I I like it a lot. I definitely need it. My coworker just bought a Nexus 7 for like a hundred bucks and it was a 64 gigabyte model I was pretty jealous I was thinking about buying it to be honest but buying that one that he had given because we, we were both work at the same warehouse but I still would have felt bad that I still would have had a broken one so I decided to 
go on eBay and fix it up after buying that Kindle. The Kindle's good, but it's just some of the apps are just weird. At least flip up like that. Another hidden screw down there. Hmm. I believe there's a screw down here somewhere. Oh, well, let's just check this thing out. We got a screw right there, 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 there. Got one down here. All right, I'm not even gonna bother trying to cut that, or I should say, to peel that all off. Well, I guess I have to. I mean, I gotta take off this thing anyways. Whoops. <laughs> All right, that was a lot easier than I expected. Let's see, anything else this thing's connected to? Let's look at the bottom. Um, don't know what else it could be connected to. What was that for? Oh, one more screw right here. Warranty voided again. Great. Three screws down here? No, I think it's. Maybe it's just all tape. Oh no, that was it. Bad motherboard right here. Let's go ahead and put this one in. Let's check out this. Check out the internals a bit. Decent construction down there. We have the power and volume buttons. This button is, I believe, one of these buttons is unused. On a move for diagnostics. You have your, your jack right there. Micro USB. Power for the speakers. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's for like, if you have a case, a little magnet. This is probably to power the LCD battery. Probably for the touch. This just, I don't know, I guess for the motherboard. <laughs> um, I did buy a few batteries for like 30 bucks, a few knockoffs. There's always that. Which one was it that I, that I didn't use? I don't think I used this one. This is a new one. We'll find out in a bit. Let's go ahead and connect this bad boy. Cool thing about this is that it's all passive cooling. No need to worry about um, <laughs> applying re reapplying thermal paste. It's like you're gonna need a precise screw screwdriver set. Did I screw that thin in there? No, I didn't screw that. Let's see, there's one over here. I'm not going to do it too tight, this tablet. I mean, these are precise screws. You don't need not want to ruin this stuff. Just, just snug. Snug's good enough. Let's see, there's one more. There we go. And remember, the super tiny one, little black one, it's all the way over here at this corner. Okay, let's go ahead and connect everything again. Keep the speakers disconnected to save on battery power. <laughs> close that up. I have this cut because I'm retarded. I said close it up. Oh my gosh. Alright, there we go. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get a charger. Charger time. Which way does it go? I don't have the official charger for this thing. That's another reason why it might fail. Um, there was there was a recall for these things, which is interesting. Sounds like there's power going on. Which one was power again? Was it this one? I believe it's this one. We got nothing. Another dead board? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you know what? I did kill this battery. Oh! What is that? What is that? That little power sign? Ooh, is this battery full? Let's turn this baby on. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautifulness. All right, welcome screen. Always gotta love that. Select Wi Fi. Let's go ahead and select this one. Connecting. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Did I click that one? You guys can't see this, sorry. All righty, there we go. Oh, you hear that? It sounds like my phone. My phone just found this thing. 50 new updates. Let's go ahead and update everything. Update all. Yes, I know the, all the terms and all the baloney. I did put a custom Android. That, that custom Android I had, I think it was AO, AOKP or something. It, it worked a little bit better, but it was kind of skittish in certain parts. It was made it the performance was a little bit better, but after the motherboard fried, I'm keeping it stock. Sorry guys. I do. I thought this was a pretty neat device. Can't even. All right, whatever. And I'll just play it safe on this one. Check out the Kindle Fire. The HD one. I got ads. Kind of shitty. Whatever. A little, little about the same. A little bit different. This one is just slightly smaller. It's a lot thinner, I'll tell you that. So I'm, I'm kind of I'm not sure about, about the, how I feel about how strong it is. This has a solid, uh, solid uh, what is it, case down there. So it has like this, a nice little finish. This is funny. I actually bought this for a hundred bucks. So I found it on eBay. Somebody was selling it for a hundred bucks. Buy. I just bought it. I might list it. I think I might list it locally for like 160, 170. Buy it and you know sell it. Buy another one for a hundred bucks. <laughs> I don't. I don't care for it. The speakers are great. This one is just, just Google. I already. I already. Um, what's that word? I. Oh God. I surrendered to Google, so I like this one more. YouTube's not at 1080p screen, and YouTube's like at 720p. Kind of lame. What's funny about about the Kindle is that you could turn off the screen and the YouTube video is playing. So if you're playing music, I think it might save battery life. I'm not too sure. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. This was a very yeah. If you guys didn't you know saw it, this was a very easy, easy um repair. Um, I don't know about if, if I would ever replace a, a screen on one of these things unless it was a super expensive tablet Somebody smashed the screen then I'm, I, I probably would say, you know, maybe try try it out fix it and Then you know resell it if you want um, other, Otherwise I usually if it, if it has a broken screen. I'm only gonna pay enough money for the motherboard See you guys around